Hi, how's it going? I feel like it's about time to do one of these updates and talk about the general state of things for me. Um, so it's been several months now since I threw away my old video schedule and started just doing one thing a day when I feel like it. So that's continued to be very good for me. One thing that I have noticed that that's ended up doing is, um, well, partially it's just because of my current lineup of games, but I've, I've ended up kind of, it feels like stuck on the same projects for a very long time. Partially because, yeah, again, because the, the games that I've chosen, a lot of them have been very long-running projects. Fish Fillets 2 is over 70 videos now. Drod kind of just stays there all the time. I don't think I particularly want to change that. Uh, I like having it as the mainstay, the baseline, the one that's that's reliable, basically. Um, Else Heartbreak was a long one. That ended. Uh, Royal Cosmonautical Society is... It has a little while left. Um, I'm going back through all the planets, getting all the stuff again uh, before I go on to the final one. So it's its days are limited, but it still has several days left. Um, what else am I doing? <laughs> there are two others. Uh, Midnight Mansion. I'm in an extremely long mansion right now that's going to go for... Phew, at the rate it's been going, like ten more videos or so, and I have at least one more custom mansion to do after that. Um, but that will come to an end eventually, and then... Royal Cosmonautical Society, Drod, Midnight Mansion, Fish Filets 2. Yeah, that's all of them. <laughs> You'd think I would keep better track of this stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, there have been a few times where I have felt just a little bit restless, like I've wanted to do something else. Um, one of the ways that that manifested recently, or actually, how recently was this? This was like a month ago now, I guess. I forget how long. Anyway, uh, so I just decided one day that I wanted to play Legend of Grimrock in old school mode. This was something that I had wanted to do for a while, like after I had done my old Let's Play of it. Um, I saw that there was an achievement for finishing the game without a map, and I said then that hmm, maybe I'll do that someday. So I just decided one day to sit down and try it. And after clearing the first few levels, um, I realized boy, I should really be streaming this, because I'm sure a lot of people would like to, to watch it. I could put the streams up on YouTube, and uh, yeah, I'd have some some bonus content, basically, for people. So that's what I did for the, uh, the rest of that playthrough. And that was a lot of fun. A lot of people seemed to enjoy that. I certainly did. Um, so that was cool. It's not the sort of thing I would be doing all the time, because, again, if I were doing that all the time, I'd be right back to where I was before I threw away my schedule and just have no time for anything else. But that's definitely something I would like to do occasionally. An obvious second choice for that would be Grimrock 2 without a map. That might happen at some point. Definitely no promises and definitely no estimate of when it might. But I would like to. I really enjoy that game. Um, I'd love to play it again in a different mode somehow, maybe with with a custom party, with a few different character classes. Anyway, so that's been on my mind, but I'm not going to say it'll happen immediately, or I don't know, but probably someday. Anyway, um, so another thing I've noticed is that I've kind of gotten the impression that the, the activity on my videos has quieted down a little bit. Like, I don't feel like I'm getting as many comments as I used to. It's totally fine. It's just something that I've noticed. Like, there's definitely more activity when I'm posting more stuff, which I guess is obvious. I should expect, you know, twice as many comments if I'm posting twice as many videos, basically. Um, just saying, it's 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 a thing that I've noticed. Um, it's fine. It's not a problem. I'm not saying people need to say more stuff, but, you know, if you have something to say, feel free to, to post it whenever. Um, and I do hope that the... Uh, the dance game videos that I put up aren't getting in the way too much. Um, I really wish YouTube had a way to split up subscriptions by interest so that I could say, like, have somebody subscribe to just Let's Plays or just Let's Plays for a particular series. Or, like, if they could subscribe to a playlist, for example, then you wouldn't have to have all the extra spam of the things that you're not interested in um, uh, showing up in subscriptions at the same time. Maybe nobody else thinks this is a problem, but... And come to think of it, I guess for myself, I don't really have this problem with any other channel I subscribe to, even though they, some of them do post a lot of videos I just don't bother to watch. I just skip those. Um, if anybody feels like this is a problem, um, 
I'd be happy to have that discussion here uh, in case there's something I could do to, to make it smoother because like there was one time when I was thinking about making a second YouTube channel just for dance game stuff um, that could still be an option though I have like 200 some videos here that that wouldn't get moved over anyway I don't know just just in case this is a problem like I suspect it might be for a few people I'm I'm happy to talk about it and things that might be we maybe could do about it or maybe i'm inventing a problem where there isn't one anyway uh any thoughts on that are are welcome in the in the comment section here so anyway um let's talk about the future a little bit like i said i've been stuck on kind of the same games for a while and i keep a list of possible future lps uh, in a big text file on my computer. I look at it occasionally. If I run into a new interesting looking game, I'll write it down there. Uh, I'll sort it by the ones that seem most interesting to me um, upcoming and, you know, keep track of release dates and things in there. So that's been a useful list. Um, people will send me recommendations. They'll make it onto the list. A lot of stuff has languished on that list for a very long time and just never been a priority to play. Um, if there are any games that I've mentioned, like there were a few gift games that people gave me a while ago that I never really got to, and I still feel kind of bad about that. Uh, that might happen someday. Anyway, um, some interesting things are happening with a couple of games that I've let's played and put in the final episode and said, okay, I'm done with these. Uh, Night in the Woods and Hollow Knight have both gotten some form of expansions since I played them. I have the impression that these expansions are, at least in the case of Night in the Woods, I know a little bit more, well, no, I don't know that much about either of them. Maybe I have the wrong impression. I feel like I'm in a tricky situation because I would love to look at the new stuff. I don't feel like it's a great idea to do another Let's Play from scratch, covering all the same territory plus a little bit of bonus content for stuff that's changed. Um, but also, I don't know if... I don't think either of these have an easy way that I could just see the new stuff and nothing else, and that wouldn't really make that much sense in context. So, like, for situations like that, does anybody have any thoughts for how best to handle those? Maybe, maybe it would be good to just have another Let's Play that starts at the beginning and covers the same territory. I guess I've kind of done that with a couple of things. Uh, Station 5 was done like that, An Untitled Story was kind of done like that, um... And I guess the Grimrock streams would kind of count. Like, a couple of years went by between those, and I had forgotten some stuff. I mean, okay, so that's an option. Maybe I could just wait a year and then play Night in the Woods again, or wait a year and play Hollow Knight again. Uh, maybe more expansions would have come out for one or both of them by then. I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I mean, waiting a year sounds kind of bad, especially for if anybody's excited about seeing those right now. So, I don't know. Um... Any thoughts you might have about that, uh, I'd love to hear them. Anyway, so um, I thought I would just share my short list of games that are coming up um, that could replace the, the slots that I have now. Um, I have thought about the idea of changing the number of, of game slots. Like, I'm pretty happy with four at a time. But if I'm just doing one per day, that's you know twice as long since uh, the last episode of each one. I, I'll always go back and review the last video, just look at the last little bit of it to see if there's anything I've forgotten that I need to remember when I pick it up the, you know, four days later when I record a new session. Uh, for those who don't know, I record everything, unless I'm going on a trip or something, I record everything the previous evening before it goes up the next day. I used to pre-record, um, but I don't do that anymore. Uh, I just like it better to, to be able to have the fast cycles and... Um, you know, if somebody makes a comment the day before, I can I can actually address it in the very next video always if I do that. So I like that system. It's it's worked okay for me. Anyway, um, right, where was I? <laughs> so some of the games I'm considering... Yeah, again, I like the four game slots. I'll probably just put a new thing in the slot whenever one ends and just cycle through games that way. So the stuff I'm considering to replace uh, what I have now... Uh, I've done a few Matt Thorson games. Um, I did Money Seas, An Untitled Story was by him. I've done a little bit of Towerfall. Um, he and Noel Berry and a few other people. I don't think I've done a game by Noel Berry before. Uh, he's kind of a friend of mine. Um, is part of the 
part of the same group of developers that Matt is part of. I, I don't... Uh, anyway, so he and Matt and a few other people uh, who are also working on Towerfall ha have been working on a platformer called Celeste. There was a there was an, a version of this done for the Pico 8 um, that I played just a little bit. I wasn't super into it then, but they're, they've, they're building it out into a full platform game, and it's going to be coming out in January at some point. So I've been excited to play that. That's That will definitely be happening. Um... I've gotten a recommendation from some people called Omega Land. Uh, that's also a platform game by Jonas Kiratsis, or however you say that. Uh, he is somebody who works on... What was that game called? The puzzle game that's like The Witness that everybody tells me to play, but I refuse to play. Uh, the, uh, I can't think of the name now. You play as a robot... It has, like, all these religious overtones. Um, you all know the one I mean, but I can't think of the name. <laughs> Road to Gehenna is an expansion in it, but I can't think of the name of the... The Talos Principle. That's it. Why'd that take me so long? <laughs> uh, anyway, he worked on the Talos Principle. Looking at the trailers for this game, it looks really simplistic and not all that interesting, but... I read a couple of reviews, or the first little bit of a couple of reviews, and they implied there's something a lot more interesting going on than uh, than meets the eye here. So I was actually kind of excited to play that. People were comparing it to a version. Hopefully that's not too much of a spoiler. That was as much as I read. I saw that and said, okay, I'm sold. Uh, I'll play this and see what it's like for myself. So I don't know anything more than that, um, but that's definitely on my list coming up soon. There was a puzzle game that came out uh, recently-ish, I think, uh, by Kenny Sun called Yankai's Peak. Um, I'm hearing a lot of comparisons between it and Steven's Sausage Roll. Looks like one of these brutal, topological, uh, pushing stuff around puzzle games. Um, kind of in a different grid, possibly, than stuff like Steven's Sausage Roll or Drod or whatever. Um, anyway, so I'm excited to give that a try when I, when I have room to do it. Uh, another puzzle platformer people have recommended is called Recursed. Um, looks like it's about, well, about recursion. Um, I, I'm assuming I'm putting some screenshots up on the screen. It looks reasonably innocuous, but the main mechanic looked pretty good. And basically, I listened to a podcast of people who had played this game as an assignment, and they were all really excited about it, and I kind of trust their taste in games for recommending stuff, so I'm I'm really interested in trying this one. So that's probably coming up. Uh, so speaking of Towerfall, um, I mentioned a long time ago, this was like in a, a video like this that went up years ago, I think, uh, mentioned that I might let's play it at some point. <laughs> I would still like to actually get to that, um, especially if I'm doing Celeste. There isn't time between now and when Celeste comes out to do Towerfall, but maybe that can be a follow-up. I don't know. Possibly. That's that's one thing I'm thinking about. Uh, there was a game called A Hat in Time that I was watching for a while. Uh, it's supposed to be a collectathon, kind of like Banjo-Kazooie or Ukulele or stuff like that. Uh, I've heard it's pretty short. Um, I played Ukulele a little bit on my own. I had fun with it. A lot of critics didn't like it, but I thought it was good. I did not think it was a good fit for a Let's Play. Um for several reasons. I'll have to take a closer look at A Hat in Time and see if it fits better. Um, I don't really know how similar it is to uh, to ukulele, but um, from what I hear, it's the same general category of thing. Anyway, I'll take a closer look at that, see if it is good Let's Play material, but it's, it's another one I'm thinking about. Um, so I was looking at Grimrock 2 mods a little while ago, and there was one called Lost City that caught my eye. Apparently it's pretty newish. Uh, newer than Eye of the Atlantis, uh, from what I saw. And seemed to be getting some pretty good reviews. Uh, the stuff I looked at... I don't like to look too closely at these things, because I like to go into the experience unspoiled, and just experience what there is to, uh, to see. Sometimes that feels risky. <laughs> Occasionally I have games that I just have to cancel, because they turn out to be much worse than they looked. Um, but usually it works out well. Anyway, so things I know about Lost City is it's a Grimrock 2 mod, it's new, people seem to like it, and that's about it. So I'm thinking I'll give that a try, because I wanted to, I was looking for another one of those. Um, 
And then somebody emailed me about a Grimrock 1 mod called Survive. It looked pretty cool. Uh, I definitely liked what I saw there, so that's another one that I'd definitely like to consider. Uh, almost through the list. This is going on longer than I, I thought it was. And this is just like the, the top few that were on my list uh, for like immediate consideration. I have, I don't know, 50 more games beyond that. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, there was one called Speebot that I think I saw on a forum somewhere. Um, looked like a nifty little simple-ish 3D platformer with some light puzzles in it. That was the impression that I got. Um, just seemed like a good time. A lot of platformers on this list. Well, I like those, so it's what I like playing. Anyway, so um, one of the reasons I brought all of these up and went through them is, well, one, just to, to give uh, all you guys a preview of what's possibly coming up. But if any of you uh, see something on that list that you'd especially like to see sooner than other stuff, um, feel free to let me know about it. Uh, I'm always open to feedback for... Um, for upcoming games. Some of them, like, I know for sure that I'm going to play, and it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter what anybody says. Uh, <laughs> uh, meaning, I want to play these as soon as they come out. Like Celeste, I know I'm going to jump on that as soon as it's available and I have uh, an open spot for it. Uh, but a lot of these others could be sorted into a different order. Um, so yeah, just if, if anybody's really excited about one of these, these things I've listed, um, feel free to let me know. Or... If anything I've listed is, like, something somebody's played and it turned out to be terrible, like, feel free to also anti-vote things, like, <laughs> tell me, hey, you shouldn't actually play this, you wouldn't like it, it's this sort of game, even though it looks like this other thing, stuff like that. Uh, or anything else that I haven't listed here, you know, feel free to, I'm always open to recommendations. Um, <laughs> funny thing, though, somehow, someone without my knowledge or consent, has added me to a list of YouTubers who review games. This is like a big list of channels and email addresses and stuff for um, somebody who wants to send press releases to YouTubers to get their, um, you know, send a Steam key for some upcoming game so somebody would play it and give a review to it. I am not a game reviewer. I just do Let's Plays of things that I find and like. So there's been kind of a bunch of sometimes surprisingly pushy emails about this. Um, I don't know where this list exists exactly or how to get off it. I found it once, didn't save the URL, uh, and when I lo went looking again, I couldn't find it again. If I could find this list, I would request to be removed from it. But anyway, so <laughs> I've been getting a fair number of emails about games that just don't look all that interesting to me. I put a thing in my about page about this, um, and I mostly just ignore those. So if any of you people who've been sending me press releases are watching this, um, this is why I haven't been responding to your emails. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, so yeah, maybe don't put too much trust in those lists. Check people's about page. Make sure they're actually up for this sort of thing. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I also get emails from people like this this uh, Survive mod that I was talking about. That was from... Um, I can, I can tell the difference between a press release and, you know, somebody who is a fan or, um, you know, knows me in some way is saying, hey, I made this game, uh, it'd be cool if you played it. So, you know, please don't let this discourage you from sending me emails. <laughs> uh, I still get a fair number of recommendations from there, and I always appreciate them. Anyway, yeah, so um, that was, good grief, way more long-winded than I expected it to be. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if any of those games excite you more than the others, and maybe I can prioritize them a little bit higher. Uh, or if you have other recommendations, I'm always open to them. So, uh, I'll see you next time.